What's going on everybody? Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm. So I got a little time to put a little video together here because I got to hurry up and get my kids to baseball practice. And so I'm going to try to do a little update as I'm feeding all the animals before I have to leave the farm here. Uh, a lot of people was wanting to know if the garden soil's already dried out from the other day when I tilled it up with the tractor. It was super wet if you guys watched that video. If not, I think it's my last video I posted. Go check that out. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're going to have a lot of new videos coming out. And we'll go check on the turkeys to see if they have any new eggs for us. Daisy, here's a stranger dog. And she don't like it around the place. Good girl, Daisy. Spanish goats and Daisy are ready for their dinner. They're always waiting. They know the time that I always usually feed them, so they're always close to the barn usually when it's dinner time. Man, you guys act like you're starving. All right, so this weather is about as perfect as can be. 66 degrees, the sun's shining. It's beautiful here in Oklahoma. There isn't hardly any wind today. It's about as good as it can get. Um, let's go check on the bees. Since it's sunny outside, I, I really need to get their super put on so they can start building their foundation for their honey stores. But I just haven't have not had the time since ball season and the weather hasn't cooperated. But let's go see if they're active. They should be. There's a few coming and going. It's it's the evening time, so they're not quite as active, but I really need to get in there and check them out. I haven't been in there since last fall. All right, guys, this is what the garden looks like. It's been two days since I tilled it, and if you watched the last video, like I said earlier, it was super wet when I tilled it. It was really clumpy, so I really need to hit it again with the tiller to kind of make it more powdery. And like I said earlier, and like I said in my last video, I don't even have anything to plant right away. I have not had time to go to town or to order anything, but let me show you what this looks like. It's starting to dry out pretty good. And the way we do this is I have a six foot tiller as you've seen in my last video. I try to make my rows, I leave a path about eight feet in between each row of plants. That way I can get my tiller in between each row and have a foot on each side of the tiller so I don't hit the plants. And that helps me uh, kind of control the weeds a little better so I don't have to get out and pick so many weeds up out of the garden. You see I got a lot of wildflowers. It's almost time to start mowing. The bees should be loving this. Are you guys ready to be fed or what? All right. Nothing like getting stampeded by a herd of goats, miniature goats at that. Alright, there's Bear, the dog that won't eat out of a bowl, but he'll eat off the dirty ground. Well, yesterday, I came out and fed and checked on the turkeys, and I did only get one egg from their nest box. So, we'll see if they have anything for us today. 
You know, turkeys. All right, I see something new here. See these holes here? So this is where I found an egg yesterday. They kind of got this little hole scratched out here and there's an egg in it. So there's one and in the nest box there's another. So, so guys, if you've been following the channel on my videos on the turkey eggs, I've got two different batches of eggs in an incubator right now. So I put eight in the first week on a Sunday and then this last Sunday I added nine more turkey eggs. And what that'll do is it'll allow the eggs to hatch. One group will hatch this week and seven days later another group will hatch. Instead of opening an incubator and putting eggs in there every single day. All right, let's go see if the chickens are using their nesting boxes finally. All right, that's a good sign. I see eggs and no shavings on the ground hardly at all. And there she is. She's still sitting on her eggs and it looks like she's broody as well. I'm gonna let them hatch their eggs out. These bannies are just crazy. Look at this guys, it actually worked. So we still got some chickens laying on the ground, but as you can see, they are using their nesting boxes a lot more and they're not able to kick out the shavings now. So that's a plus. All right guys, so I know a lot of you like shorter videos. Um, you like to skip through the boring parts of videos and stuff. I do too on YouTube. I, get, I like to get to the point. Um, with that being said is I've had a couple of bigger channels that are trying to help me with this whole YouTube process since I'm pretty new to the game here and they said I need to try to knock down my video time uh, going a little too long so I'm gonna try to do that so bear with me I know some of you like long videos and a lot of you like short videos so I'll try to do a little medium medium video maybe uh, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take their advice because these are bigger channels that's trying to help me out and they know what they're doing. So I'll try to knock my video time down a little bit so you guys don't have to be so bored with me through all the boring footage anyways. But don't leave me. Keep watching my channels and keep commenting. Get your friends to subscribe. Share my videos or my channel on social media. The more subscribers, the better. And with that being said, I've got to get these kids to baseball practice. So I'm going to go put these turkey eggs in the garage and get ready to take the kids to baseball practice and I'll try to get this video uploaded tonight so anyways guys if you're not subscribed I ask you to please subscribe to the channel hit that like button and we'll see you on the next video